Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com. Ying and I literally just arrived to Singapore and we came directly to Little India and we got here right before the lunch rush. We are sitting down to have lunch at a restaurant called the Banana Leaf Apollo, which is one of the, the household names in South Indian fish head curry, which happens to be one of my absolute favorite Singaporean dishes. And so we had to come straight from the airport to eat fish head curry. Fish head curry is a unique Singapore dish that was invented right here in Singapore. And if I, I've heard the story a couple times, I, I believe that it was an Indian chef who had a group of Chinese that he was cooking for. And fish head is not all that common to eat in India, but in China, fish head is a delicacy and people love to eat fish head. Fish head. So when he was cooking um, for the group of Chinese, he made an Indian curry, but then he added a fish head into the curry. And so he kind of bridged the gap between the Indians and Chinese through fish head curry. And so it has stuck ever since. It is uh, kind of a national dish of Singapore and it happens to be one of the ultimate dishes that I would fly to Singapore just to eat. There are quite a number of famous fish head curry restaurants in Singapore, uh, but we came straight to the Banana Leaf Apollo. And I wanna say a big thank you to all of you for all of your suggestions for things to eat here in Singapore. Uh, just some outstanding recommendations and so many recommendations. We're gonna to try to eat as much as we can, but for now we're having lunch here. And they have a pretty extensive menu of a lot of South Indian, and I think there are some North Indian dishes on the menu as well, but really the main thing you've gotta eat here is the fish head curry. And so they have three different sizes, the small, medium, and large. And even though it's only Ying and I eating for lunch today, there was no way I could not order the large. But along with fish head curry, they also have up at the front a number of different prepared curries. So we additionally got a bowl of squid curry and also some chicken masala. And then for my base, I got uh, plain rice with vegetables. Okay, <laughs> they just brought the fish head to our table. This thing is huge and absolutely stunningly beautiful. And when you say fish head, this is not just a fish head, but it is like it includes, so it's not just a bony fish head like it sounds, but it includes so much meat. Just look at all that meat on the side. It includes like the whole collar of the fish. And they said this is a red snapper. Let me just bring it up to my face so that you can get kind of a comparison. I hope you can, I hope you can see this comparison, but the fish head, or actually the bowl, is bigger than my face. And the fish head is... Pretty, pretty close to the size of my head, and definitely the lips might be bigger than my lips. The aroma coming off of this bowl of curry is just insane. You can smell the cumin in there, you can smell the curry leaves, and there are, oh, that's a tomato. They also added pineapple in here, and I think there must be some um, lady fingers, the okra in there. There are, oh man, that just smells ridiculously good. Okay, so the thing to do is to just scoop out some of the, oh, look at how meaty that is. And that is a curry leaf there, which just has a sensational aroma to it. Oh, look at all that, look at all that meat. This is not just a fish head, but there is so much meat on it. And I'm gonna put this onto my rice. Oh, that's a, just a giant chunk of fish. I'm putting that right into the center of my rice. And I'm gonna add some of this, some of the chunks as well. <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta start eating immediately. They do have a spoon and fork provided, but the best way to enjoy curry like this is to just use your fingers. Oh, that's so hot. Oh, oh. And when you can feel the food, it just adds another dimension. That is what I flew all the way to Singapore just to eat. Man, that fish is awesome. The fish is so meaty and just, yeah, just pure flesh of the fish. And then the curry, 
it's not really spicy, but it has just an incredible curry aroma to it from those curry leaves. You can taste the kind of tomatoey broth in it. I gotta eat that pineapple. How do you this And then the pineapple gives it a yeah, gives it a crunch and a, uh, an acidic sweetness. I'm gonna go in with my spoon and taste just some of the curry with no rice. I wanna get the full flavor experience. <laughs> oh, that is so wonderful. It has a sourness to it, especially you can really taste those curry leaves. But what I like about it is that it's not it's not too oily, and it actually doesn't feel that heavy. It's not like a buttery or oily curry, and that gives it kind of a lighter feel to it, but still having just a sensational flavor to it. The fish is absolutely incredible, but I am gonna take some bites of the other dishes. This is the squid curry. Put that down, and you can see those are the, those are the curry leaves that just have so much fragrance. And then also this is their chicken masala, and I ordered the small plate, but that's still pretty good size. And that is an entire stick of cinnamon. This is kind of a dry, a dry chicken masala, so it just has all the, all of that curry paste just caked up on the pieces of chicken. I also got an order of naan, so I will take a piece of naan and let me try that. I gotta try that chicken masala, that looks wonderful. And let me break into that piece of chicken. But when it's not a gravy curry, just look at all of that spice and all of that flavor that can cake up on that. I have a curry leaf that's hanging out of this, this bite. I better eat it before it falls off. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome, too. Oh, that is so good. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is just crazily good. That chicken is nice and soft, but then the real highlight is, of course, that curry, which it's a little bit different from any other kind of chicken masala that I've had before. It's almost a... Um, like a, it almost tastes like a cross between like an Indian masala curry and barbecue sauce. It has like a little bit of a, a cinnamony sweet tinge to it, which contrasts all of those spices and that, those curry leaves. And I'll go in for the, the tentacles. Mm -hmm. The squid curry is also very good, and the squid is extremely tender with just a very light chewiness to it. Um, and then that's just kind of a, it's kind of a mild sauce compared to the other two curries. It's not as strong in flavor, but more of a, a buttery, rich flavor to it. Oh, that is such a meaty chunk of fish. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so good. We are coming to the end of the fish head. It looks a little more collapsed at this point, I think. Just look at the size of that interior bone. Oh, oh, that's the very top of his face. And, but I still have a couple more parts of the fish head, the glorious fish head to eat, including the cheek, which is, even though it doesn't look so much like a cheek anymore, this is the cheek right here. Is that the cheek? Oh wow, that is, that is a giant cheek. Oh, I thought part of that was bone, but that entire thing is the cheek. Oh wow, that's like, this is a serving spoon. Check that out. This is a, a serving spoon, and that fills the entire spoon. I think I will add some sauce to that and eat it right directly from the serving spoon. Oh, this is definitely a pretty big spoon. I think I can do it. Wow. And the next part of the fish head that I gotta eat is the eyeball. And, oh, that it is, there it is right there, right out of the socket. When I was a kid, come on. Oh yeah, it's like a little marble. I'm gonna set this down onto my, my little remaining rice. 
there should be like a hard, oh yeah, that's kind of like a hard casing. Oh, that's like a very gelatinous thing right there. I don't know what that is. That's like, that's like eye goop. <laughs> and then you can peel off this, this outer shell. And that's, it's, it almost, yeah, peel off the outer shell. And I'm gonna go in for the, the eyeball goo and the inner eyeball. I think I'm gonna need to dip in the curry before this. All right. Mm. Oh, that eyeball, like, like gooey eyeball, gelatinous stuff around the eyeball is actually really good. Really soft and almost jellyish. And then the eyeball, it actually really doesn't have very much flavor or else I covered it all by all that curry. But then inside of the inner eyeball, there's like a little... Oh, it almost has like a yolk, like a chicken egg yolk texture to it. It's a little bit chalky. And then it has like a hard little ball on the very inside. Yeah, it's like a hard little rock almost. Oh, there it is. I don't think you eat that. On that fish head curry eyeball note, I am going to end this video. That was superb. Uh, what I really liked about it is that it is very flavorful, but it's not too rich and doesn't feel, doesn't have that heavy feeling to it. So it's more of a water, I think it's more of a water-based curry rather than a butter-based curry, which I really like. And that means you don't feel, okay, I am pretty full, but you don't feel that really like heavy, soggy feeling after you eat it. We got here at a, a little bit early at about 11.15 and now I think it's about noon and it's almost completely full now. So this place fills up and it's a popular restaurant. That was a fantastic fish head curry and a great way to begin a trip to Singapore. Thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Again, thank you all very much for your food suggestions in Singapore, and I will see you on the next food video.